بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم عامر خان علی زئی ہیئر ود لیکچر 11 سٹریم 3 ہیئر وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ دی ورٹیکل اینڈ ہوریزنٹل انٹیگریشن دیر آر تھری کمپوننٹس وچ نیڈس ٹو بی ڈسکس نیچر اٹس گول اینڈ دی ایشوز سو ان ورٹیکل انٹیگریشن ایکسپینڈ بیک ورڈ سپلائرز اور فارورڈ کسٹمرز الونگ دی سپلائی چین and uh, horizontal integration into it is the acquiring or merging with competitors outsourcing is some activities performed by another corporations uh, looking into the goal of it lower cost enhance and uh, protect production quality improve supply chain efficiency horizontal integration as economies of scale production differentiations business model replication and oligopoly whereas the outsourcing in this particular activity is the reduced cost focus on core competencies looking into the issues and vertical one high cost structure of suppliers more difficult to adapt to changes whereas horizontal uh, integration is different businesses culture and team monopolistic responses so the outsourcing in this uh, activity is the dependency loss of uh, competency so one can relate the coal extraction iron ore steel marketing metallic production mechanical production uh, towards the corporation and towards this activity main types of economies in production distribution and consumption so uh, going into the detail the economies of transportation we will look into the economies of scale economies of scope economies of agglomeration economies of uh, density so while uh, in the Uh, three pans we have to look into the production distribution and consumption so from first topic if we look at the economies of transportation so lower unit cost through accessibility to suppliers and customers the distribution is the lower and a uh, unit distribution cost through transport uh, chains the management and consumption is lower unit output cost through accessibility to suppliers and customers so uh, economies of scale says the lower unit cost with larger plants distribution is uh, that distribution through larger models and terminations consumption is that the cost with larger retail outlets further at the last we are looking into the economies of uh, density so increased accessibility in labor skills with uh, higher densities distribution is lower uh, unit distribution cost with higher densities and consumption explains it as the increased accessibility to goods and services with higher uh, densities in uh, growth of large multinational so we have to look at into these uh, three pans the new market opportunity better management and state support so in uh, market uh, opportunities one has to look for the resource technological product technology and innovations uh in better management one has to look for the uh, less innovative uh, sectors mostly financial holdings and outsourcing so the government support is definitely required over there for large government contracts like defense operations uh and the private profits and socialized losses so all these things need to be backed up by the state support so this is what is called impact of technology and that uh, technological impact that innovation is dependent on decades if we look into the modern history of communication from uh, let's say for the last 100 years 100 year plus so from 1900 to 1920 telephone came in 1876 radio in 1902 talking uh, motion pictures 1910 motion pictures in 1910 television came in 1923 and from then the era of 30s and 50s so uh, the public service computers in 1944 then transistors came into being in 48 then uh, commercial computers uh, came after the innovation in 1951 the room size big computers which which, which were used and that was the uh, starting of the new era of technology then integrated uh, circuits were created Uh, which we or nowadays we call we call it chip so that in 1958 the innovation then it moves on from 60s to 80s so in 66 fax machine came into being and 71 the microprocessors so in 1971 the first email was sent in 76 apple a home computer came into being in 79 first cellular phone network then in 81 ibm pc or laptop computers 
then the era of 90s to 2000s and 93 Intel Pentium processor which created a market boom 1994 World Wide Web came into being 95 the micro soft internet explorer came into action which changed all the concept of the computer usage and in 1997 AOL instant messenger came into uh, existence and then people tried to use it very fastly then in 1998 digital uh, overtick analog google incorporated so in 99, uh, 1999 the data uh, exceeds voice that came into being so all these technological and innovative moves um, move this world very fast now going through into the current uh, era of technological and communication innovation so uh, still in 2003 there was myspace which was used in 2004 facebook came came into uh, the, uh, the in innovation to the world in 2005 the youtube introduced itself and then there Twitter and Apple iPhone and the Facebook overtakes MySpace and the Apple iPad innovation came into that and Google introduces the Google Plus thing in 2011 nowadays we can see this technological move with the uh, shrinking of the chips all the uh, big computers have uh, shrunk from the laptop to palm top and now all the everyone uses these small mobiles in their hands as their palm tops so this is the brief history on the technological and technological introduction and the uh, innovation in, uh, in, in uh, happened in 20th and 21st century so stay tuned and see you in the next lecture Allah Hafiz.